Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about padding in CSS. So a couple of lessons ago, we went over margin, and we were able to center our, our uh, div here, and we were able to add a margin on the top and the bottom. And so now we're going to show you what padding is. And sometimes people get padding a little confused with margin because it does something similar. So when you have margin, you're applying the margin to the thing you want to move. So in this case, we had this big white box, and we wanted this box to move itself. So we applied margin and it has that margin on the box. But let's say we want the content within this box to be pushed in. So instead of uh, the div itself being you know, positioned, it's sort of like the content inside of it is going to be pushed in. So it's adding padding to the inside. So you can sort of see uh, how this is the box model. And with the box model, as we went over, you have your margin then your border, then your padding, and then your content. So the padding is going to be within this border line here, and it's going to push the content inwards. So to do that, let's actually take this content that we have here. Of course, we don't want it right up against the edge, and we're going to apply some padding. So let's just go to our CSS, and this was the wrapper. If you recall, we gave it a width of 70%, a height of 400 pixels background of white, and a margin of 50 pixels, and auto. So now we're going to add some padding. So we're going to add padding, and just like with margin, as you can see, we can do margin or padding hyphen left, padding hyphen top, bottom, whatever, or you can do the shorthand the same way as margin. So what we're going to head to do is we're going to add uh, an even padding to the sides and an even padding to the top and the bottom, and it's just going to be a little bit more for the top and the bottom. So we'll have, let's say, 40 pixels on the top, and bottom, and then we're going to have 20 pixels on the sides. So let's save this, and let's check out our, our page. Let's go to refresh. Okay, so now you can see we have this uh, this bit up top here. This is our pixels. This is our, I think we had 40, and this is 20, and this is 20. So even if we shrink this main content, let's do that. If we shrink this, once it hits that 20 right there, you can see even though this is all scrunched in, we have this 20 pixels here. It's never going to go outside of that. So let's pull this back here. And now if we click this and uh, we right click and check out inspect, um, as we've been doing so far, if you hover over your wrapper div, you can sort of see this box model come into play here. So the, uh, the orange on the outside is the margin, and the green on the inside is the padding. And then of course you can see the border there as well. If we go over here, we can adjust these values here. If I modify this to be, uh, let's say, even, we'll have this 20 pixels there, and let's add something even bigger, 80 pixels, you can see the difference it made. Uh, what it actually did is it added to the width, the total width of our, our div. So if we subtract this, you'll notice move, as the padding moves in, so does the width of our object. Okay, so any padding you add, by default with the CSS box model, is going to add to the total width. So if you run into a situation where you know your box is supposed to be, um, let's say, 500 pixels wide, and you know it's supposed to have 20 pixels padding on it, um, this actually isn't exactly 500 pixels right now. If we hover over this, look at the value, it's 540 pixels. So it's 500 plus the 20 of the two padding. So if you wanted this to be total 500 pixels, you would have to have this at uh, 460 pixels. And now if we hover over this, you can see that it's total now 500 pixels. So there is a way to get around this. Um, and uh, actually, if uh, I would recommend this article, this box sizing border box for the win by Paul Irish. This teaches you a little bit, uh, a little snippet here you can add to your code that instead of having these things add to the total width, uh, width it's going to just be a part of this. So, um, like I said, read this for more information on how to use this box sizing border box. I'll go over this in a tutorial later on, but right now um, there's some more important stuff we have to get through first. For now, just know in this typical box model, as long as you're adding padding, it's going to add to your total width or height, where margin does not. So this is padding in CSS. Padding is the, uh, is the space between the element border and the element content, okay? It's space between your border and your content. So that's how you add padding and adjust it, and that's pretty much the basics. If you want to do anything more, you can feel free to just mess around and do whatever you want. 
Um, but padding is something that you'll use very frequently in CSS along with margin and many of the other CSS properties. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Uh, my Twitter is S Tolinsky. You can hit me up there too. Um, but yeah, so just let us know what you're thinking, and thanks for watching. Bye.